I've been hitting three mows a week and I ended up getting some seed heads. I've got a few pressures going on at the moment. Well, number one, I don't like seed heads. I want to get rid of them. I'll use uh, PGR as part of my plan to get rid of those. But number two, my house is going up for sale and I want it looking the best that it can look. It's looking pretty good, but you know, I'm fussy. So I'll illustrate my plan of attack. It seems to be a good way. Here's my soil, here's my lawn, here's my laterals. And there's my thatch layer and there's those ugly seed heads that came up. So I mowed to chop those ugly seed heads and then I vertically groomed. Those seed heads I'll need to mow. PGR will reduce the height and eventually get rid of them. So let's take a closer look at the grass and what the grooming's doing. So grooming vertically cuts the grass. What it will do is it will cut laterals. It'll be two millimetres above the soil. We don't want to be going in the soil and it'll create more growing points at the top of the plant. And here's another diagram closer into our plant again. That grooming will get rid of the laterals and create those more growing points. So regular mowing looks after the height, and regular grooming sort of thins it out. But at the same time, we'll thicken it up with the use of plant growth regulator. Plant growth regulator reduces the growth vertically and increases the lateral growth. You'll get reduced seed heads. And another great thing about plant growth regulator is it'll reduce your clippings. Now, most importantly, read the label if you're a first time user of it, use the lower strength. It's good to apply with green light and make sure that you use it at least 28 days apart. So when you're doing the grooming of your area, you go in at least a couple of different directions and that way it sort of chops those laterals and doesn't let them go any further. I mean, you can go nuts and go six different directions if you like. There'll be a minimal recovery and after you've mowed it won't even look like that you've touched the surface at all with the groomer. Okay, my little plan to get it sorted in one week. Day one, I'll do a double cut mow and straight after it, 200 mil green light application per the 100 square meters. Day two, a groom and a mow. And day three, double cut mow, 200 mil green light, 50 mil root builder and eight mil PGR. I applied my plant growth regulator six hours after I did my mow. Apply your plant growth regulator at least six hours before or after mowing. Now you'll notice that I'm doing two green light applications a couple of days apart from each other. They're both at the lower strength. My lawn is quite used to foliar applications, so it's handling it well. So day four was a mow for me. I didn't record that because it was basically a big day getting the house ready as well. So I didn't really have time to do any filming. Day five, I would have done a mow, but it was raining. Um, but I noticed that the seed heads weren't coming up. So that was good. And look, day six, I did another green light application. And I must say this was after another double cut mow. I forgot to write it in there. So day seven, well, that was photo day and it ended up looking very, very nice. So on the Wednesday, I, I did a low mow, double cut. So the double cut was to cut the seed heads because they look ugly and prepare the surface for the green light application. Being the first one, I've done an application at the lower strength. Today, I'm going to do a groom and a double cut mode. So why do we groom? We groom to cut laterals, pull up a bit of thatch, and create some extra growing points at the top of the plant. Grooming keeps the thatch layer low, so when we do a low mow, we won't get any scalping. And air, water, and nutrients will be able to get to the soil layer. Yeah, see, most of the ground. And a nice double cut mow after the grooming. We'll neaten it up, but um, I'm still not really happy with the colour, even though it's looking pretty nice. Tomorrow uh, I will put down a treatment of Green Light Root Builder Plant Growth Regulator. Today's Sunday and I've had a nice little bit of rain as you can see and I finally got some mulch into there but she's looking pretty sweet. A little bit of discoloration there where the uh, seed heads have come up and you can see the stalks there obviously a bit and just those few little bits that need to grow in. They won't be too far off but look i'm really really happy with the result it's really popped with that green light and uh, look the next week we're going to have 30s and uh, 
upper 30s and that'll make it pop even more and that plant growth regulator make it easier for me to manage it with the with the mowing now overall really really happy I think I've uh, got a nice little uh, deal going here. If your grass is recovered, start your green light applications. Once it's recovered, get into your green line. Well, yesterday was day seven. I wasn't here for the photos being taken by the real estate agent. They come up pretty good from what I can see. So today I'm here at day eight and look, she's come up real nice. A uh, double cut mow and then a groom and then another double cut mow. I really got into it today, but she's really starting to line up, starting to look good. A few seed heads here and there, but look, they'll eventually go and the color's starting to even out. So I'm really glad that I'm right into it. Today's Halloween, um, so going back to Port Augusta tonight and, and uh, armed full of lollies, because I'm sure we'll get lots of visitors. It's a really hot day here today. I won't be putting down my moist soil wetter and I'll wait for that weather to cool. So I'm looking at about Friday, it's gonna go back down to 22 degrees. Don't put moist soil wetter on if it's above 32. So looking forward to my most favorite of months, November. It's the time when everything is, you know, usually pretty much well right in recovery and we can start concentrating on the color and the condition and the manicuring and the grooming, so to speak. So um, exciting times for the last month of spring and then we hit the summer absolutely running. So get into your green light applications, uh, you'll see a change in color, and uh, get into your plant growth regulator to control that growth. Get your lawn on.